Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Box Office Talk. This is the show where I break down what happened at the box office, see if my predictions for the top five are correct, and then make predictions for next week's top five. So let's get right on into it. Last week, I predicted that number one would be Avengers Endgame. Number two would be The Curse of La Llorona. Number three would be Shazam. Number four would be Breakthrough. And number five would be Captain Marvel. And surprisingly, what I thought would be an easy weekend to predict, and I'm sure all you thought it would be too, I only got two out of five of my predictions right. What happened? Well, let's go over what happened overall in the top 10. Number one was very obvious, Avengers Endgame. But I don't know if anyone could have predicted this opening weekend, because not only is it now the highest opening weekend for an April release, for a for a Marvel release, for any movie ever release, but it actually was able to open at $350 million, which is about $100 million away, maybe around that, from when, what Infinity War opened up with, which was like $257 million. So, Going from Infinity Wars 257 opening to an Endgame 350, oh my god. <laughs> and and you've got to assume that the budget is around like maybe 350 million to about 400 million. At least that's where it kind of was sitting the last time I checked Wikipedia. But worldwide, there's no need to really be concerned about that. Obviously, not just because of this domestic opening weekend, but worldwide, it is already open at 1.209 billion dollars. If you want to know how much money that is, it is already outgrossed worldwide. Not just Captain America Civil War, but Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, which has been killing it recently. Worldwide, it has already outgrossed it, which is insanity. And if you want to know where the opening weekend places it, as far as the other MCU films, it is at the number nine spot in the overall top ten. And it's going to obviously go up to the number one spot very soon with this $350 million opening. It might actually get to a billion dollars domestically, which is insanity to think about. I still haven't had a chance to see it, so please leave my comment section spoiler free. But Jesus Christ. What a fantastic opening for this end of an era, pretty much. Number two, you might have been thinking it was The Curse of La Llorona, but it wasn't. It was Captain Marvel. Last weekend, we saw it bump up a bit because an Endgame was approaching, but this weekend, it actually bumped back up to the number two spot, making $8 million, adding to a domestic total of $413 million, which outgrosses Iron Man 3's $409 million domestic uh, run, so that's pretty good for this film, and worldwide, it is sitting at $1.110 billion, which is obviously fantastic, but I don't think any of you really can Care about this movie anymore as far as the Marvel um, movies go and how financially successful it is because Endgame is the prime target here and I've already gone over that so let's go over to number three which was The Curse of La Llorona making seven million dollars adding to a domestic total of 41 million which is 43 million off from outgrossing the first Annabelle film domestically and worldwide it is only at 86 million which is several millions of dollars off from any of the other Conjuring films worldwide. So last weekend it was the lowest opening weekend for a Conjuring related film, and now it's looking like it's just going to be one of the lowest earning ones ever. Even though the budget is still very low, $9 million, and obviously they've made it back at this point, it's still not as huge of a success as the other Conjuring films have been, especially with The Nun that came out in this past so September. Number four is Breakthrough, making $6 million, adding to a domestic total of $26 million, and worldwide it is sitting at $33 million, so they are able to double that $14 million budget and make $5 million over that, which is really good for this film, obviously. Obviously, I don't want to spend too much time talking about it because you obviously know how I feel about this thing. So let's go on to number five, which was Shazam, the superhero film. That's not getting as much love as Captain Marvel or Endgame, obviously, but it's still still holding out pretty strong, making five million, adding to a domestic total of 131 million, and worldwide it is sitting at 346 million dollars. When I go over that number, it must seem really weak compared to the Marvel movies that have already gotten to a billion. So I kind of feel bad for this because. Uh, I haven't seen Endgame yet, obviously, as I already said, but I think Shazam is a much better film than Captain Marvel was. But you know what? To each their own. Captain Marvel's the piece in the puzzle to this Infinity Saga that Disney and Marvel have made. Also, the DC films haven't really been all that great, so it's I think it's just more of a shock that this one's actually good, or maybe they don't want to buy into that. It's kind of like the Bumblebee effect, where the other films were completely terrible, but then Bumblebee was good, but it's not the highest earning one. That's kind of what's going on with Shazam. Number six is Little, making $3.4 adding to a domestic total of 
of 35 million and worldwide it is sitting at 42 million. So it was able to just now double its $20 million budget and make 2 million over that. Congrats, I guess. Uh, that's kind of a win for them, just barely doubling your budget and making a little bit over that, sort of. <laughs> Number seven is Dumbo, making 3.2 million, adding to a domestic total of 107 million. Worldwide, it is sitting at 327. So it needs 13 million more to double that $170 million budget. Uh, that, that still doesn't seem all that possible now that I'm looking at it here. Maybe there's going to be another worldwide place it opens and it'll boost it up a bit. Maybe next weekend it'll have some kind of push or something, but I just don't really see this movie really getting to that doubling point. And even if it does, it's not really that much to celebrate. Number eight, we have Pet Cemetery making 1.2 million, adding to a domestic total of 52 million, which is 5 million away from outgrossing the original Pet Cemetery domestically, which is pretty good. Not sure if it's going to do that since it literally is only making 1.2 million this weekend, but I guess we'll see. Maybe it's just the end game competition. Maybe some more people will re revisit it next weekend, but I kind of doubt it. And worldwide, it is sitting at $102 million. So at least it does have that, that it was able to cross over the 100 million limit. Number nine is Us, making 1.1 million, adding to a domestic total of 172 million. I was really looking forward to see if it did outgross Jordan Peele's last film, Get Out, but it's still 4 million off from that, so I'm still not very sure. Worldwide, it is sitting at $249 million, though, which is really good. And it's 5 million away from outgrossing the recent Halloween film uh, worldwide, as far as the Blumhouse rankings go. So that's still a really great win for Jordan Peele and Blumhouse here. And finally, closing out the video, the movie I didn't expect at all, Disney Nature's Penguins, making 1.05 million, adding to a domestic total of 5 million on a budget of I'm not entirely sure. Way to go, Disney Nature, sneaking into the top 10 once again. I don't have that much to say though, so let's just move on to the fun part, which is the predictions for next week's top five. Number one, obviously, Avengers Endgame. Now, whether it's going to have about a 50% drop or lower than that or a higher drop than that, we're just going to have to wait and see. It's going to be interesting for sure. Number two, I think, will be Ugly Dolls. Number three, Long Shot. Number four, The Intruder. And number five, Captain Marvel. But what are your predictions for next week's top five? Leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Vulture. See you guys next time.